Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It's a joy to share with you how God uses ordinary people to do extraordinary works for God's glory in British Guyana, South America. My name is Ben Yanis, and I'm 78 years young, and this is my 20th trip to Guyana. This first picture is of our team of 13. Alex on the left is from Germany. Thanks to the Parker families for inviting him. Next is Pastor Charlie. He has made many trips to Guyana preaching, teaching, and training many Guyanese pastors. Most of the pastors only have an 8th grade education, so his teaching is invaluable to them. I want to apologize to Anthony, Gary, and Sean that I didn't get them in any wheel drilling pictures. The reason is we split up into different teams and in different areas. The first project we work on is to assemble the water pumps. This year we took in 60. That makes over 600 in the last 12 years or so. This picture is completed pumps with check valves. We've been putting check valves on for ever since I started building pumps and that eliminates having to prime them. This picture, Pastor Adam with his new 75 horse motor, thanks to everyone that has been involved in buying it for him. A little bit about Pastor Adam and his wife, Lorna. When I first met them, they would paddle a canoe for five days to a seminar taught by Pastor Norman Walker and other pastors so he could become a better pastor. Then, five days home, and he did this three times a year. With his new motor, he can make the same trip in six to eight hours. Adam now maintains most of the 800 wells and still puts in many new wells after our team leaves. Pastor Ronald and his wife, Devada, are a great team. Ronald preaches and Devada leads the choir and helps with the youth. Devada and Lorna cook for our teams. Pastor Ronald makes most of all the plans for our teams. This is the luggage that 13 of us in our truck we took in. We had 34 suitcases of water pumps with over 100 extra repair kits for pumps, Christian material and volleyball nets and different things. I have a story to tell about the luggage. After everyone had checked in, we had 19 suitcases of supplies. We had to take with us, they told us it would be $100 each for the 19 suitcases. Ouch! I had a letter from Guyana's Health Care and Peace Corps workers, and they stated they had seen a drastic change in waterborne illnesses and in deaths since the drilling of the wells. They also stated that Norman Walker Ministries is doing what no other group has ever done for these people, not even their own government. After sharing a letter with a supervisor of Caribbean Airline, they agreed to take $25 each with Ryan bargaining with them. $475 was a lot better than 1900 Thank you, Lord. Same truck, only other side of truck. Look real close. Why use five lug nuts when two will do? Both tires on this side were bald. This is our team's boat heading into the Atlantic Ocean for a eight to ten minute ride to get into another river to get to our final destination of Comwater where we stay. This lady is doing her laundry. A lot of the water they drink doesn't look any better than this until we put wells in for them. The next two pictures are of our team driving in wells. They take a 10 foot section of inch and a quarter pipe and drive it into the ground eight and a half feet. And then they take a 20 foot section, sometimes 30 foot of half inch pipe with water pressure behind it and work it down 20 or 30 feet. We then screw on the pump with a brass check valve, pump an hour or two to get the old dirt water out and God filters the water through the sand and they have good drinking water. This is a team that I traveled with seven hours or so to a total different area. As you can see, they are just a little soiled, but look at the smile on their faces. The lady is Devada and our boat driver on the right is David. There is a reason these men are making good use of this well. You see, last night when we got to our destination, it was dark and they had put in three or four wells getting pretty dirty then and no place to shower. Good news, the captains of the village brought us some mattresses, otherwise we would have slept on a board floor. By the next morning, after driving more wells, they were ready for a little cleaning up, and as you can see, there's 
going right at it. I won't name any names, but a couple of the younger ones didn't want to use this facility. I didn't want to waste much time there either. You know, there are critters around there. This is a church. Some are better and some are worse. I didn't fall off once. Yay! The men carried over these uh, boards or tents or foods or water pumps, etc., approximately a thousand feet or more. And then we had a truck take us three quarters of a mile or so to where we stayed. This is Pastor Wilson and myself. He told me that there were 38 families in this village. 90% of all the people attend church, and there are no drugs, no alcohol, or teenage pregnancies. I tell people the reason I like to do ministering and work in the Guyana is they speak English, and they're short just like me. See, he's about the same height I am. This is a village up the river, seven miles. We tried to put in a well in for three families that live there, but didn't get water. Pastor Williams told me that these three families on a Sunday morning would paddle a canoe three hours to get to his village, then walk one hour up the path, in the, the, which we seen in the last picture, to the church. Their church service lasts three hours, then back home. Talk about dedication. We should be ashamed of ourselves. A new project in the last three years is to take in garden seeds. Needless to say, it is a blessing to them to have a variety in their, their diet, besides cassava bread. It tastes like our communion bread. They also eat a lot of rice. If we had more finances, we could take in an unlimited amount of seeds and they could sell their extra produce for, for a better living. A few years ago, I asked a pastor how could we get more youth in church. He shared with me that one church had a volleyballs and nets, and the youth really enjoyed it. Since then, we have taken in 40 to 50 nets and 80 to 100 balls, and the churches are competing against each other, and the youth are bringing in more youth. Sometimes we get to feeling sorry for ourselves. Eldon was born with no legs and only stubs for arms. Yet he always has a smile on his face when our teams stuff by. Another reason we should, should never feel sorry for ourselves, this is what the Guyanese people drink out of this little puddle until uh, we get them a good well. So you understand why we are so blessed. God's angels are still at work. On January the 15th trip of 2015, I threw my carry-on luggage on the top landing and lost my balance falling down seven concrete steps, head over heels, moving two of the cement pillars holding up the cement banister, and I only had a small scratch on the arm. Talk about uh, glory, or uh, angels having to work overtime. They sure did that day. I hope you now appreciate your, <clears throat> your life in the USA. I've been on 40-plus mission trips in the, around the world in the last 40 years. I know we all like to get most for our dollars, whether we're buying food, a car, or a house. The reason I've been focused on uh, Guyana making 20 trips is that in the last 15 years or so is that we are able to make more lives, save more lives, both spiritually and physically, than any country I've been in. There are no salaries taken out of Norman Walker Ministry, so this organization is as frugal as it gets. We are planning a trip of 10 days in January 2017, dates the 5th through the 14th. If August works better for some, we could make a trip if we have, in August, we have six or more to go. Some good, good news, our, t our team left money to purchase several bunk beds so we don't have to sleep in tents. I know not everyone watching this DV is able and wants to travel with us, so please consider investing part of your tithes into this ministry, ministry efforts. God bless. Hope to see you soon.